In this work, we address the problem of animating human characters by example. Suppose we're given the motions of two interacting dancers, the leader in orange and the follower in blue. These motions provide examples of how the control motion of the leader should map to the target motion of the follower. Given a new control motion, we can use the examples to determine an appropriate target motion. Our method works like this. First, we get the example control and target motions and perform a semantically meaningful segmentation. We can interpret a new control motion, shown in orange, using control segments from the examples. Since each control segment maps to a target segment, this results in a target motion as well. This is a very good interpretation, but the induced target motion isn't very continuous. To remedy this, we factored continuity into the optimization. The interpretation isn't as good as before, but the target motion is much more continuous. Of course, the resulting target motion isn't perfect, so we can apply a variety of post-processing techniques to make it smoother and enforce kinematic constraints. We use their method to control a character using recorded mouse input. The motion of the mouse is represented by the orange sausage on the floor. For validation, we captured a new walk motion and used it to create artificial mouse input. Here we compare the actual motion on the top with a generated motion on the bottom. As mentioned earlier, we also used dance motion in our evaluations. Here we show the captured motion of the dance leader in orange and a synthetic follower generated by our method in green. The example motions can also encode constraint information. Here we show a handhold constraint. In our validation tests, we compared the generated target motion with the actual motion of the follower. While there are differences, we found that our results still looked pretty appropriate. 